What's up guys, Takedown here with another hockey card video and I'm going to be opening up my second blaster box for the upper deck 2017-2018 artifacts. I've already done one uh, unboxing of these and video one I got a red parallel in which I was really happy about. Video two was all the base cards so I really hope there's something really good in this. Um, I'm new to collecting, this is my first year. I do like these artifacts. Has a little bit more weight than the first one. I'm probably over exaggerating that. But let's see. This one has. Oh, never mind. I can just not count. I thought it had an extra pack in it. We'll just get right into it. So, as always, four packs per video is usually my average. I try to be quick with them because I share every card that's in here. So that's why I do just a uh, low amounts of packs. I'm not going to do a whole box because, you know, people aren't going to watch that for long, but uh, we'll just get right into this. Starting off. Holy crap. I thought this was going to be the same as the first video. So the first three cards are the same first three cards I opened up in the first blaster box and that is Jason Spezza, Ivan Prover, whoa just gonna skip that one, and Jaden Schwartz. So that's the first three ones I got from the first um, blaster box so I was really scared that all these are gonna be the same but then I got one I'm really really happy for and that is Mark Stone you guys know I'm a Sens fan, so that's going in my Ottawa Senators collection. Oh, I'm excited for that one. And then Brad Marchand, which is a pretty good one also. I had a scare there. I thought, oh my god, it's going to be all doubles, and I would have been pissed. Oh, scared me for a minute there, but let's just move on to the next one. We have, oh my god, I thought it was going to be the same thing again. Oliver Ekman Larson. So I got another double. Crap. Chris Letang. I believe I got him in the first one too. Jesus. Um, Trent Bento. I'm just going to skip over that one, which I think I had that one too. Bobby Fabri. And Bo Harvat. So pretty good. I am getting a lot of doubles like I did for the first one. I'm excited for this pack. Please be something really good in it. Jimmy Vezzi, so another double. Oh no, no, no. Leon Drastial. Might be a double. I'm getting really scared. This one I'll leave to the end. Franz Nielsen. Eric Carlson, my first Carlson card. I'm not a huge fan of Carlson. I don't know if he's going to be traded um, soon. Hope maybe <laughs> we shall see. But that's going to my sense collection nonetheless. And then I got a artifacts rookie. This is number three hundred three, red parallel three hundred three out of three ninety nine for Lucas Wellmark. It's always nice to have. Uh, Rookie cards, in my opinion. I like collecting rookie cards. And this is a red par parallel, so I'm going to leave a link to... I'm going to leave in the description the value. This one seems light in the pack. It doesn't seem like there's the same amount of cards in here. We shall see. We'll, we'll check it out. Okay, got another one in here. Okay, I will take that. Another double, carry price. I got Vincent Trocheck, another double from the first video. Put that one in the back. Steven Stamkos, I'm happy about that one. Philip Forsberg, I am happy about that one. And then a Canadian, this is number six out of a hundred, a green parallel for Johnny Godreau. I know I probably butchered that name, please, I do apologize. So this is from the second blaster box I did. The first blaster box, I got one parallel out of all the cards. A red parallel, parallel for Joe Provelski. And then I got two parallels in the last video. Um, but 
out of the second um, blaster box, I have a lot of doubles, so I hope there's not many doubles in here, and I hope I get a lot of inserts. But let's just get right into it. Let's see what we have here. Please be some good cards. I really hope there's some good cards in here. We have Richard Raquel. Brandon Sad, which I believe is a double. Christian Dovrak, which I believe is a double. Anders Lee. And Gabriel Landskog. Probably butchered that one. That's the one that's that's the only one that's not a double. Um, come on, get some good stuff in here, please. Dang. Okay, we got Derek Steffen. I can never pronounce this one, but I know it is a double. Joe Thornton. Jake Muslin. And Nikita Kucherov. Once again, I'm getting a lot of doubles. Maybe next time I shouldn't order two of the same blaster box um, at once. Maybe that has something to do with it. But first year collecting, so of course I'm going to make mistakes. We got Cam Atkinson. Nanito. I'm not going to pronounce the last name, but I know it is a double. Brian Johansson. I'm not going to pronounce. And then James Lee, which is a double. And last video. Please get an insert. That'll make it worthwhile. Something, please. Jersey card would have been nice. I was really, really hoping for a jersey card. <sighs> Nada. Zach Wierenski. What? Echo. Pavel Zaka. Double. Eric Stahl. Double. And Tuka Rask. Double. So I did get a lot of doubles. I am really disappointed of that. Um, I did get some really good cards. I only got out of the two. I only got three inserts, so unless they're really valuable, then that'll make up the difference. But to me, it, it's probably because I ordered two blaster boxes at once. That could be it, but to me, they should be mixed up anyways. Um, but this is all I have out of the three. Joe Pavelski, red parallel, number 173 out of 299. We got number six out of 100 for Johnny Godro. Probably butchered that name. And then Lucas Walmark. Um, that is a rookie artifact, red parallel, 303 out of 399. So that's all I got out of two upper deck artifacts, 2017 2018 blaster boxes. As you can tell, I'm a little bit disappointed. So I think next year, since this is the last big haul of the season, uh, I think next year, next season, whenever I get back into collecting, starting with uh, the Tim Hortons, whenever they start doing them again, I think once I start getting into the blaster boxes and the packs again, I think Series 1, uh, to me, is good because it has the young guns, it has all the different little inserts in it. So I think that's that's going to be, a, once again, a good buy. Um, also... Opechki, this year was a good buy. I have minis, I have the rookie cards, I have the rookie retro, the rookie retros, I have the retros. So I have a lot of good cards um, with them. This here didn't get too many good cards, in my opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, maybe I did screw up and just order two blaster boxes at once, and you know the odds of them having a lot of doubles because I had a lot of freaking doubles. And that was disappointing. So I don't know next year if I'm going to get artifacts again. This kind of turned me away from it. I do like the base cards a lot more 
Like that's probably the best quality base cards, but the fact that it got barely any inserts, even though they are numbered inserts, that does make up for it a little bit, and I will find out the value. Um, I don't know, a little bit disappointed, but in a way that's what you can expect uh, when you get a lot of doubles from your packs. But anyways, I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Comment down below what you want me to do next since I'm almost certain I'm going to be done with uh, hockey cards soon. I'll probably share. I have one video where I share all the rookies I have this year. So that's mostly Opechki. Um, so I'll make a video sharing that. I'll make a video sharing all my good ones I found this year. I already have a video recorded of all my Tim Hortons ones. That's the good Tim Hortons ones that I collected this year. And then I might make a uh, Connor McDavid collection video because I do have a small collection of his. So maybe I'll put that into a video as well for you guys if you guys are interested. But I'll leave this video here. Take care. Peace.